up and submit your tip online at tips.fbi.gov. That is T as in tango, I as in India, P as in Papa, S as in Sierra, dot FBI, dot gov. During this call, you will be asked to provide identifying information about yourself and or the persons about whom you are calling. We use this information to assist in investigating your tip. You do not have to provide your name or other personal information. However, the lack of information may delay or hurt our ability to investigate your tip. Any information you can provide may be used for authorized purposes. To report a tip on an FBI case currently highlighted in the news, press 1. To report a tip about a threat to human life, serious bodily injury, significant violent action, or threats to national security, press 2. To report Please provide the zip code of the area code you are calling from now. Can I get the spelling of your first name? My name's Levi, L-E-V-I. My last Thank name... Thank you, Levi, and what's your last name? Jonathan, J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N. J-O-H-N-A-T-H-A-N? <clears throat> J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N. Okay, and your date of birth? June 8, 1979. And what's a good telephone number for you? I don't have a phone number. Okay, and what's your zip code? 33881. What's the federal crime you're reporting? May I ask who I'm speaking with? You're speaking with operator 9816. We don't release first names for security reasons. So, I was transferred to this this uh, hotline. Um, I'm not sure if this is the place I'm supposed to be, you know, but um, I have um, evidence that uh, criminal activity, excuse me? Go ahead, sir. Yeah. Okay, sir, am I on speakerphone? Because I can hear myself. Is it possible to take me off speakerphone? Um, no, ma'am. I prefer to be on speaker. Um, okay, then you're going to have to bear with me. I may ask for some clarifications because it's very difficult to speak when I can hear myself speaking back. All right, ma'am. Well, then maybe the best thing to do is not speak. I'm happy to take the information, just letting you know I may ask for some clarification. All right. I don't feel like this What's conversation the... is going very well. Um, is there a direct line I can speak with somebody, maybe a supervisor, or I could speak with another department that handles cases, uh, serious matters? No, sir, I'm not able to transfer you. You've called the National Threat Operations Center. We intake information for all the field offices, so I am trained and competent to take any information you want to provide. Well, I was looking through the phone book for a phone number for the FBI, and there was none listed. Is there a phone number that I could call? Well, sir, like I said, you've reached the National Threat Operations Center. We intake information for all of the field offices. Yeah, and I don't think that this may be the right uh, channel. And so, and I do feel a little uncomfortable. Can I ask why that is, sir? Well, ma'am, I've had seriously bodily inju injury on me and I'm attempting to report it, I don't feel like you're really concerned. That's probably the first primary uh, reason why I would not want to speak any further to you. Uh, secondly, um, I just need clarification that I'm calling the right place. And so um, I don't consider what I'm providing a tip. I consider what I have to be hard evidence. You said that you've experienced bodily injury. What bodily injury did you experience? I said I don't feel comfortable speaking with you further. But I was asking... Well, sir, you, you, 
don't, you absolutely don't have to provide any information to me if you wish to not. You can provide information at FBI.gov through the TIP uh, submission service on the, online as well. I don't have the internet here. So okay, sir, well, you can, all, you can always call back and speak to someone else, but like I said, I'm unable to transfer you. Right, but is there someone that has a phone number to a, maybe a local office I can go speak with somebody personally? According to your zip code, I do see the Tampa field office. That phone number is available online as well. Oh, but you won't be able to give that to me. I don't have it available, sir. God bless you, ma'am. May the Lord have mercy. Have a good day. Calling the FBI field office in Tampa. You have reached the Tampa field office of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. If this is an emergency, please hang up now. Dial 911. Please listen carefully to our menu. If you are a law enforcement officer or are calling to report a bank robbery or kidnapping, press 1 now. If you are calling for media information, press 2 now. To file a complaint, report a possible federal crime or suspicious activity, please press Three, now. If you are calling to report a possible internet crime, please visit www.ic3.gov. That's www.ic, the number three, dot gov. Questions regarding general applicant processing or hiring, please press. Your call is being transferred. Please wait on the line. For calling the FBI. This is not a 911 service for taking emergency calls. For emergencies, please call 911. Si usted escuchar este mensaje en español, por favor oprima el número uno. In a few moments, you will be connected to an operator. This call will be recorded for quality assurance, investigative, or other purposes. If you do not wish to be recorded, please hang up and submit your tip online at tips.fbi.gov. That is T as in Tango, I as in India, P as in Papa, S as in Sierra, dot FBI, dot gov. During this call, you will be asked to provide identifying information about yourself and or the persons about whom you are calling. We use this information to assist in investigating your tip. You do not have to provide your name or other personal information. However, the lack of information may delay or hurt our ability to investigate your tip. Any information you can provide may be used for authorized purposes. To report a tip on an FBI case currently highlighted in the news, press 1. To report a tip about a threat to human life, serious bodily injury, significant violent action, or threats to national security. Please provide the zip code of the area code you are calling from now. One moment while I transfer you to the next available representative. Your call will now be recorded. are experiencing a high volume of calls with longer wait times. You can now get immediate service by visiting us at tips, that's T is in Tango, I is in India, P is in Papa, S as in Sierra, dot FBI dot gov. This website can take online tips 24 hours a day. Your online form will be processed for the FBI for further investigation. Hi, how are you today? 
Hello? Speakerphone, just so I have a witness here, um, so that you know everybody can hear what this conversation is about. Now, sir, okay, I need your phone number first, sir. I don't have a phone number, believe it or not. Okay. I stopped using the phones okay. way back when I kind of figured things out. Okay, and I said, 
see that you input the zip code 33881. Is that the area you're in? Yeah, that would be it. Okay. And what is the violation you're reporting? Well, actually, um, <clears throat> the, uh, the, the automated uh, voice recorder uh, gave me the option to make a complaint. Is there a okay, kind of a formal complaint of form to fill out? And is there? I can't. I don't have anything I can mail to you. But you can go online and do it. Right. So, am I able to just print that up and then mail it to the field office? I would assume that would be the Sir, same. You right? can. You can just type. You can just type up something and send it in. Yes. I can give you the address for the office. Um. But when I'm. What I'm looking to do is to speak with somebody personally. Is that an option? If an agent feels they need to. Um, After they review your information, if they have any additional questions or feel they need to reach out to you, they'll give you a call. And then they can set up a time to talk to you. Uh-huh. Well, if... Would you like the address for the local office, sir? Well, my life is immediately under threat. And I okay. don't... Well, you're Well, that's the thing, man. It, it, the FBI is part of the federal, they call government of the, the, what they call the United States of America. Is that not correct? Sir, what is the report that you're trying to file today? Okay, this is the FBI. I'm here to take the information. Hmm. Do you think George Floyd would have did good call the 911 when the police were strangling him? I'm just saying because the, the, the whole idea, in my opinion, of the federal government was to protect citizens against unlawful abuse by the states, was it not? So Are you if, having issues with the local police? Well, ma'am, I'd rather not get into specifics unless I know who I'm speaking with and that I have a record of okay, the conversation. Sir, Well, see, this is the issue, ma'am, because if I give you specifics, then I'm putting my life further in danger. Okay. You know, this is a very well, serious... Sir, if, you like to, if you would like to write your information down, you can mail it to the FBI office. The one closest to your location would be 5525 West Gray Street, Tampa, Florida, 33609. If you would like to provide any information, I can take the information and agent can review it and contact you if they feel it's necessary. What I would like to do, ma'am, in the event that somebody takes my life tomorrow is to make a public record today so that the people that live in this world can know who took my life. Well, that's the information. I, if I give you information, I put my life more in danger. That's why at least I would like to know who it is I'm speaking with. Sir, we're not allowed to give our names. I can give you my agent ID number. It's 9756. Is there a place of refuge that somebody can go if, say, there's you know, a hail of bullets flying towards them. Sir, I don't know where you're at exactly. If you feel that you're in danger, you can call 911. If you're not comfortable calling 911, you can call the state police. Is there another uh, agency 
other than a state agency to call? Sir, I don't have any idea what your issue is that you're reporting. You're not giving me any information. You see, I'm because... I'm going to end the call. If you're not going to give me any information, I'm going to end the call, sir, okay? No, it's not okay. And you're putting my life well, further in danger by not providing the resources for sir, I a refuge. Sir, for the victim's hotline, Department of Justice victim hotline. Would you like that number? Yes. It is 855-484-2846. They can give you information about your rights and your options. Okay, give, give them a call, see if they can assist you. Thank you, and have a good day. Bye-bye. God bless you. Thank you for calling the Victim Connect Resource Center. Please wait while you are connected to an available victim assistance specialist. Gracias por llamar al Victim Connect Resource Center. Por favor, espere mientras se conectamos con un especialista. For support in English, please press 1 now. Para recibir... I think so. Hi. Um, and I did want to let you know, too, that we are an anonymous service. You do not have to give any personal identifying information. Well, thank you. You're welcome. We brought you to our hotline today. Well, I was referred to this by the FBI. Okay. And... How can I help you? Are you a real person? And I was um, looking to set up a meeting to speak with somebody personally about my issue with a, a federal agency. Is this possible? With a federal agency. Okay. So, um, the type of resources I have, I could try to contact you with. Um, I know since the FBI referred you to us, um, on a type of, like, agency higher up, I could recommend, like, reaching out to you. No, I think uh, that may be where I should be. Yeah, I'm so sorry you're having to. I'm so sorry the FBI didn't help out either. That's, huh. that's very unfortunate. Um, and, and as far as Department of Justice, are you comfortable sharing me what state it is that you're calling from, or would you rather the United States Department of Justice in D.C.? Yeah, um, definitely the U.S. Department of Justice in D.C. Yes, please. Okay. So first I'll give you the main um, phone line to the Department of Justice. All right, I'm ready. And that, okay, and that is 202-202-514-2000. And then I'll give you the uh, Department of Justice Civil Rights Division next. Yes. And that number is 202 202 514 514 3847 3847 All right. right you got it I think that's where and I, I like so, Yes ma'am Yeah, I was gonna say, I think that would be a good avenue to go um, Would you like me to go ahead and transfer you to them? Um, I would just call those numbers directly it, It'd be good Okay All right. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Of course. Take care. All right. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.
United States Department of Justice. If you would like information on how to reach the Department of Justice website, press 1. If you would like information on how to email the Department of Justice... www.jusd 
www.pice.gov forward slash CRT. We do not have the authority to correct a problem in a federal facility or address acts committed by federal officials. We do not assist in criminal cases. We cannot assist you with a wrongful conviction, an appeal, or in connection with your sentence. We do not assist with individual problems. We cannot help you recover damages or any personal relief. If you have an individual problem or seek compensation or some other form of personal relief, you may wish to consult a private attorney or a nonprofit or legal aid or association for assistance. The one exception is that we may be able to assist you if you are being prevented from practicing your religion in a prison, jail, mental hospital, or other facility operated by a state or local facility. For more information on the areas in which we work, press 1. To continue with this message, press 2. The special litigation section relies on information from community members affected by civil rights violations to bring and pursue cases. The voice of the community is very important to us. We receive hundreds of reports of potential violations each week. We collect this information and it informs our case selection or may be evidence in investigation or litigation. We cannot return every call. We will review the information that you leave for us and determine whether it is necessary to call you back for more information. If you prefer to send us an email, please write to special.litigation at usdoj.gov. You do not need to do both. To repeat this overview, press star. To disconnect, hang up now. To leave a message for this section, press 9. The special litigation section relies on information from community members affected by civil rights violations to bring and pursue cases. After the tone, you will have two minutes to briefly summarize your complaint. Please speak slowly. Please also include the following information for our records. Your first and last name, including the correct spelling. Your pen and phone number. The city and state, including the correct spelling, where the issue that you are calling to report is occurring. The name of the facility, institution, or law enforcement agency about which you are calling. Thank you for contacting the special litigation section. If you are ready to leave your information now, please press the pound sign. Otherwise... Yes, my name is Levi Jonathan. I'm a journalist and I also have a complaint. I'd like to do this formally and I'm interested in the process. I find it somewhat unreasonable that somebody in this particular situation would have to leave a voice recording rather than being able to speak with someone. Would you please call me? The phone number that I could be reached at is 863-258-7752. This is a serious and urgent matter. We have reached the Department of Justice Civil Rights Division complaint line. Our hours of operation are 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. Your call is very important to us. Please listen to the many options so we can route your call correctly. If you're calling after business hours or when our switchboard is busy, you may need to leave a voicemail. Para continuar en español, oprima el número uno. If you do not speak English or Spanish, 
please press 9 for help getting an interpreter. The Civil Rights Division works to uphold the civil and constitutional rights for all. For additional information about the work of the division, please visit our website, www.justice.gov forward slash CRT. If you're calling to speak with the Assistant Attorney General's office, please understand the Assistant Attorney General is not able to speak with individuals regarding their complaints or concerns. Complaints or reports should be submitted in writing. To file a complaint or a report, please go to our website at https colon forward slash forward slash civilrights.justice.gov forward slash. The division's mailing address is 950 Pennsylvania Avenue Northwest, Washington, D.C. 20530. The division's fax number is 1-844-491-4900. Or two zero two three zero seven one three seven nine. Please allow the commission up to ninety days to respond to a complaint or report. To repeat this information, please press zero. If you're calling about criminal law enforcement misconduct, such as the use of excessive force, sexual assault, or theft by law enforcement officers or other government officials, human trafficking, hate crimes, or interference with access to reproductive health clinics, please press 2. If you're calling about conditions at state or local correctional facilities, thank you for calling the criminal section of the Civil Rights Division at the U.S. Number. Department of Justice. If this call is an emergency, please hang up and dial 911. Due to the pandemic, office personnel are working remotely until further notice. To file a complaint, please visit us at civilrights.justice.gov. Once your complaint is filed, an intake specialist will respond to you via email. If you do not have access to the internet, you can write to us at the U.S. Department of Justice, Civil Rights Division, Criminal Section, 950 Pennsylvania Avenue, Northwest, Washington, D.C., 20530. For the fastest response, we encourage you to visit us at civilrights.justice.gov. Thank you, and have a good day. Thank you for calling the criminal section of the Civil Rights Division at the U.S. Department of Justice. If this call is an emergency, please hang up and dial 911. Due to the pandemic, office personnel are working remotely until further notice. To file a complaint, please visit us at civilrights.justice.gov. Once your complaint is filed, an intake specialist will respond to you via email. If you do not have access to the internet, you can write to us at the U.S. Department of Justice, Civil Rights Division, Criminal Section, 950 Pennsylvania Avenue, Northwest, Washington, D.C., 20530. For the fastest response, we encourage you to visit us at civilrights.justice.gov. Thank you, and have a good day.